Wait a minute, is that an olive green 18 volt dust blower? G'day boys and girls, many of you will be familiar by now with the Makita AS001G 40 volt dust blower. This has become a very popular tool for Makita and it was a very popular video that I put out sold out pretty quickly when the first lot came through New Zealand and all around the world it has become a fan favorite but right from the moment that I put the video out of this tool I got a ton of people saying hey where's the 18 volt version are they doing an 18 volt version when's an 18 volt version coming out I want an 18 volt version I want an LXT dust blower don't want to buy a 40 volt one just for the dust blower well, finally, it's here. Wait no longer. The LXT 18 volt dust block. It's taken over a year since the release of the 40 volt version, but it is here. The DAS 180 18 volt LXT dust blower. Let's take a look at what's different between the two tools. <laughs> I can now clean the dust off my dust blower with this dust blower. A dust blower to clean a dust blower. <laughs> what differences are there beyond the obvious? The 18 volt obviously has an 18 volt battery. This one obviously takes a 40 volt battery. They're not interchangeable. There's a lot of people still ask me that. The 18 volt system and the 40 volt system are two separate systems. You can't put that battery on that and you can't put that battery on that. Just the way it is. Deal with it. So apart from that obvious difference, there is also some very small aesthetic stylistic differences. There is nothing here on the 40 volt and it does get a little bit scratched up there. Mine doesn't really because it mostly stands up. But if you lay it down, it will get scratched up, potentially damage something. On the 18 volt, they've stuck a little TPE over molding nobble on the front on each side. So that's a nice little thing, I guess. And there's a bit more TPE over molding around the front. Um, so they're a bit different here in the base. This is rounder. 40 volts a bit square, some of that's due to the battery sizes as well. And stylistically, I think that is basically it. Um, yeah, if we have a look, there is actually some slight difference in the handle. We have a look here. This shape versus this shape, fractionally different. Um, you think they've basically just used the same mold, but it looks like they've rejigged the whole thing, really. TPE over molding slightly different here too. It's got a sort of where your thumb would go if you are right handed. It's got lines rather than nothing on this one. This one's just sort of orange peel sort of effect. Yeah, just, just a few slight differences. Now what about when it comes to blowage? Which one can blow the best? Which one blows hardest? Presumably the 40 volt blows harder, right? But the rumours are that they are identical, that they both blow the same, put out the same volume, put out the same speed, that they are basically the same tool running on a different battery platform. Let's take a look on the side here. 1.1 cubic meters a minute airflow. 40 volt, 1.1 cubic meters a minute. They appear to be the same, but are they? We'll check that in just one moment. I'll quickly first just tell you what it comes with. So if you buy the 40 volt or the 18 volt, you will get five attachments in most parts of the world. New Zealand, you will get these five attachments. UK, Australia, most countries. If you get one from Japan, you'll get a few more different ones. And you can order the ones that I will show you in a moment as well. I'll put some links down below for those. Here are the five attachments. You'll get a pinch valve for blowing up small inflatable items. You get this quite wide one, good for blowing up bigger things or blowing off large areas. Uh, you get this small one for getting into corners, tight spaces and stuff. Another smaller blower one, that was the sort of one I used the most, I found. And this sweeper type one with a, this is rubbery, the rest are plastic, this one here. It's a bit, bit nicer, a bit flasher. And it has five holes on the front there and it sort of blows an area of about 120, 130 degrees, something like that. So those are the five basic ones that you will get with the bare tool when you buy the tool. And the next ones I'm about to show you can be purchased separately. There is a narrow nozzle with a long hose, good for getting into tight spaces inside a PC for instance. Another one good for getting into tight spaces is this. This comes as a two-piece set 
and it is good for blowing out holes if you're putting in concrete anchors so drill your hole in your concrete blow it out with one of these it's got what's this is about 10 mil diameter and i think it's about 8 mil on that one you can put this on top of there you can make them nice and long and get away from you enough that it hopefully doesn't blow on your face so that's i use that quite a bit that's that's a really good use of the tool i tend to just use that short one as you can see next up we have sucking attachments that's right not only do those two tools blow they also suck if you attach things to the back attach that on the back you can suck with this end this end has as you can see the same fitting that it has on the front of the tool so that you can fit on all the same fittings the five that i showed you at the beginning will all go on there for sucking air out of inflated devices there is also this one which in conjunction with this one stuck on the end of here is good for sucking out vacuum bags stuff like that anything with a larger area and you can get a HEPA filter also to go on the back if you don't want nasty particles getting blown into your computer for instance stick that on the back that will catch all the nasty stuff Bind that on the front clean out your computer so that is the attachments. I will put a link down in the description, or a few links hopefully. So if you want to buy those, they can be a bit tricky in some places, but I'll see what I can do. Have a look down there. A lot of people love these blowers, and some people think they're a gimmick, but hey, it's super handy. You can use them for blowing off tools after work. Mitre saws, circuit saws, stuff like that. Great for cleaning your tools off. If you're an electrician, great for cleaning out boxes. They're great for blowing out filters on aircon units, dehumidifiers, air purifiers, vacuum cleaners, washing machines, anything so you can use them not only for work but around the house. I use mine to get my charcoal barbecue temperature pumping along. Great for tech guys who want to keep their computer dust free. Use it to blow out the fans on your PC or your laptop. Inflating and deflating pool toys or vacuum bags. The uses are almost endless. I've found so many uses for the 40 volt one. I just always have a battery on this thing. This is one of the few tools I have that just always has a battery on it. It's just always sitting there ready to go. You can put a belt hook on them as well. It's a shame they don't include the belt hook because, you know, for a few extra cents it would be good for them to have the belt hook in there because it is something. They're nice and light, these tools. They may look big and chunky, but they're very light. And now I am going to go and see which one of these two is the gruntiest or are they both the same? Apparently, both the same. So, presumably, they'll take the same length of time to blow up an airbed, right? Well, let's go take a look. Now when you're doing a job like this, you don't need to worry about holding your finger on the trigger because pull the trigger in, push that button in, trigger locks in place, tool's permanently on. Nice feature. Also power. You don't have to worry about it being too powerful because there's four mode settings on here. You don't need to pull the trigger to activate them, you can just push the button, mode 1, mode 2, mode 3, mode 4. Mode 4 of course being the most powerful. I had it on mode 1 in that last shot there cleaning this keyboard and also it has a light. Right, it's now time for the runtime test. I've got a freshly charged, just come off the charger, 5 amp hour on the 18 volt, and just come off the charger, 2.5 amp hour on the 40 volt. Why have I got 2.5 on this and 5 on this? Well, they're the same amount of cells. This is a 5 amp hour battery if you put it on there. You can't put it on there, okay? They're not compatible. This is 90 watt hours, and this is 90 watt hours. It's just wired differently. If I change a couple of wires around in there, you would have that battery there. So, does that mean they're gonna run for the same length of time? Or, to get the 40 volt, which is using twice the voltage, do I need to put the 5 amp hour 40 volt on there to get the same runtime as this? Or is it the 90 watt hours that are gonna give us the same runtime? Place your bets now.
Okay, we may have to um, come up with a slightly better way because 18 volts too damn light for itself. Take two. I've offset the 40 volts so it doesn't knock the 18 volt over. I'm not having much luck with this. Now the 40 volt doesn't want to stand up. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> Both tools hopefully take down enough that they'll stay in place. 5 amp hour battery on the 18 volt. 2.5 on the 40 volt. Both on mode 4. Let's go. Well, there we go, a little bit extra on the 18 volt than we got from the 40 volt. Kind of makes sense, I guess. Or does it? So after that test, the 18 volt is too hot to charge. It needs to cool down. It's just blowing air through the battery at the moment, not charging. Whereas the 40 volt, no problem at all. Didn't get as hot as the 18 volt battery and is happily charged anyway. So what did you make of that? The 18 volt last seen a bit longer than the 40 volt, although it was running very slowly during that last sort of minute or so. Um, but yeah, it did beat the 40 volt with the 2.5 amp hour battery. Of course, you can get much bigger batteries for this, whereas this will only go up to 6 amp hour. You can get these up to 8 amp hour. This was not too far behind this, so put a 4 amp hour on here, it's going to smash any of the 18 volt batteries as well of course a 5 amp hour or the big 8 amp hour in the back there that is going to give you a lot of runtime not that runtime is an issue really with a tool like this for starters you're only well most people are only going to use it for a few seconds at a time you're not walking around blowing for five or ten minutes with this thing it's just a quick area clearer sort of thing the 18 volt is a little bit lighter as you saw i had um, some troubles trying to get it to just stand up during the the longevity test and let's just see how much lighter it is so both with a 2.5 amp hour battery well the 5 amp hour equivalent battery <laughs> the 40 volt is 1573 grams whereas the 18 volt is 1450 so what was it again so we're looking at 120 grams lighter for the 18 volt. That's a fair bit over such a small tool and that's with the lightest battery on the Makita. Well, the 2 amp hour is fractionally lighter I think. Most people will be using the 2.5 or the 4 on this probably so this one definitely going to be a lighter unit if that is something that you require. Now did I show you how to put these on? You can put it on just like this. Line up that with the small cutout in the nozzle attachment area here and you just push it on like so done that's it on and to take it off there's two options either just turn it sort of push in and turn it hard and it'll pop off or pull the collar back this sort of collar collar thing and then just turn it off nice and easily put it on like that too sort of a sprung collet that helps just hold everything in position. Now I'm sure you've noticed that the teal color is a little bit off on this particular model. That's nothing to worry about. You can of course still get them in Makita teal, but in this part of the world this is olive green 
as part of the lifestyle series of Makita Tools. If you're in the US, that's the camo in the outdoor adventure range. Different marketing for different places, exactly the same tools. Now, the eagle-eyed amongst you will have noticed that there is another blower in this shot, and it's just hiding in the background here. Now, when I made the 40 volt video, a few people left comments. I do recall saying, hey, Roby, I've had one of those out for ages, and it's just as good. Um, yeah, why would you bother with the Makita 40 volt? So I got one of these to test to see if it is as good as this, and now, of course, as good as this because I can't put it up against the 40 volt because people will say, it isn't fair, even though you saw the 18 volt was actually better for runtime. Um, so we're going to put this up against this, but I'm not going to do it in this video. I'm going to do it in another video, which will be up in the top corner up here and down in the description over on my other channel. One of my other channels. Which ones are going to be? Is it going to be builds and stuff or is it going to be voiceless tool reviews? You haven't subscribed to those channels yet? What are you doing? Get down there. Subscribe to those channels. And if you want to see whether this can stand up to one of these Makita blowers, then go check that video out. Now, using both of these tools, the biggest difference I notice is just that this one feels a bit lighter in the hand. But power-wise, they're the same. Airflow volume, the same. They're, they're the same tool. They are the same tool, just on a different battery system. Buy one for whichever battery you already have. Simple as that. And inflating, same speed, around a minute and a half each. Deflating, the same. Takes about the same time to deflate as inflate because it's just sucking it through the same area, you know. I, I did a test, but the video footage was a bit rubbish, so I've omitted it. Um, yeah, they're, they're the same tool. So all you guys that were complaining that you wanted an 18 volt one that was the same as the 40 volt one, that's what you've got. It's the same tool, you get the same power, so all good. Everyone's happy, right? Thanks for watching guys. If you want to see that Ryobi one, like I say, check it out up there, down there, over on one of my other channels. And I will see you guys on another review, same time next week. Thanks for watching. See you later. I'll subscribe and Patreon and Instagram and all that stuff all down there as well. Linktree, uh, you know, all the socially stuff down there. Patreon, you get the footage a bit quicker. You get the videos earlier. So if, you, if that interests you, getting things earlier, as well as the giveaways, I give away tools over on Patreon all the time. And the other odd little video and photos and stuff like that, down there. Check that out. But until next week, I'll see you later. Cheers, guys. Man, if you want light blower, that is light. Point blank range, go! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Smash that up.